Now, my candidates, my dear students, listen. Have you realized that we kept on adding 99 on each of them? Here was the mistake, the slight error. Hmm? We had moved from 900 to 10, I mean 1,080. Okay? But remember, at 900, we need to add another 90 to make 990. All right? And then from 990, we go to 1,080 degrees, which is our third revolu revolution. Now, look here, class. Uh, we shall go, we're going to write 3 theta equals. Mm -hmm. What are the answers when we have the sine inverse of, of 1? Or where do we have 1? Where do we have 1? We are, this is a positive 1. Do we agree? This is a positive 1. So the curve misses it at, at 90. Again, misses it at 450. Misses it at uh, 810. Isn't it? Those are the ones we see. Uh -huh. So we have three answers there. We have one is 90 degrees. 4 by 4 by what do you see? 4 by 450 degrees. And then another one is 800 and what? 810. Do you see that? Oh, at each of these ones, the curve was meeting, was meeting at 1. We, what we're interested in getting a positive 1. If it was negative 1, we we'll look down at negative 1, look at the points where the curve met. And we said here we had 270, 630, 990. That's not what we want, okay? So if this is it, then what is the final value? You're going to divide each of these ones by what? By 3. Why? Because what we needed wasn't 3 theta. We needed theta from there. Isn't it? You're solving for theta, not 3 theta. So now you can easily divide. Well, <coughs> excuse me. What do you get when you divide 90 by 3? 90 